Hi everybody, in this video we're going to talk about multiplying um, by 1 and by 0. So first let's just take a look at this. Um, this is a pretty normal situation. I've drawn um, three groups with 4 in each. So we would represent that as, or write that as the equation 3 times 4 equals, well if I count them all up I see that there are 12. 3 times 4 equals 12. Now over here I have um, instead of three groups of four, I have two groups of four. So this is two times four equals eight. Hmm. I've gotten rid of another one. So now I have one group of four, so it's one times four, and there are four in all. The total, the product, is four. So what else can I do with this now that I know that 1 times 4 equals 4? Well, I can use the commutative property to find the turnaround fact. 4 times 1 equals 4. I can also find related division expressions. So the first one, um, if I have 4 items and I divide it into one group, the turnaround, the related division would be 4 divided by 1 equals 4. And now there's another one. What would the other one be? Well, let's investigate this a little bit. So, let me think here. If I have four items, and I divided them into four groups, let's see, if I put one of these each into these four groups, how many are going to be in each group? Well, looks like there's one in each, so four divided by four, four divided into four groups, equals one in each. So that's the difference between those two. Four divided by one equals four is showing this situation, where I have four divided into one group. That's a weird thing to think about, but that just means that there's one group. Four divided by one equals four in that group. Or if I take four and I divide them into four groups, I end up with one in each. So let's look back. We went through that pretty quickly, and here are the four related multiplication and division facts. 1 times 4 equals 4, 4 times 1 equals 4, 4 divided by 1 equals 4, and 4 divided by 4 equals 4. Nope, 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Gotta listen for those mistakes that I make. Alright. So, here I have five groups. How many are in each group? Well, there are zero in each group. I didn't put any in there. So what I'm showing here is 5 times 0. Now what's my total? What's the product? How many dots are there in all? Well, there are 0 dots. What if I changed it? What if I made more groups? I added on 4 more groups. So now instead of 5 times 0, it would be 9 times 0. But are there any, any dots in any of them? No. So 9 times 0 is still 0. Okay, I'm going to draw a picture for 0 times 6, um, where I'm going to write draw 0 groups of 6. Okay, I did it. Do you see what I did there? I did nothing. There are no groups of 6, so I didn't draw anything. Um, so how many dots are there in all? Well, there's 0. So whether it's the number of in each group, or the number of groups, um, anything times zero is still going to be zero. Now let's talk about dividing zero up. So I have zero dots here, and I'm going to split them into three groups. So there goes one of them. Blah, blah, blah. What am I dividing up? Nothing. So how many are in each group? Zero. Now what about this? Three divided by zero. So I've got my three dots there, and where am I supposed to put them? Hmm. Well, they can't all be in one group. That'd be three divided by one. But I, I have no groups to put them in. I don't know what to do about this. Um, we talked about this a little bit. Three divided by zero doesn't make sense. So if we encounter three divided by zero, we just go, huh? Um, 0 divided by 3, well that's 0. I know how to do that. I'm taking 0 of something and I'm putting them into 3 groups. There's 0 in each. 
But if I take items and put them into zero groups, that, that that's very confusing. So that's just something to put in the back of your mind for another time. So we went through that pretty quick, but here, here it all is in a nutshell. Anything times 1 equals itself, and we write that n times 1 equals n. So that means that anything times 1 is going to be equal to itself. So I could do 827 times 1, and that's just going to equal 827. Um, I could do funny things. I could do bacon times 1 is still just going to equal bacon. Anything times 1 equals itself. Now what about this? Anything times 0? Anything times 0 equals 0. I could take those same examples um, and just change them up. 827 times 0? Well, that's 0. What about bacon times 0? Bacon times 0 doesn't equal bacon anymore. You have 0 bacon. It equals 0. Anything times 1 equals the thing that you multiplied. Anything times 0 equals 0. The same thing is going to be true with division. Anything divided by 1 equals what you started with, because you're putting it all in one group. And 0 divided into any number of groups is still 0. There's the one special case, which is this, which is when you divide a number by itself. So 6 divided by 6. That's where we take 6 of something and put it into 6 groups. And that equals 1. Um, it's a related fact to 6 divided by 1 equals 6. And we would write it with the letter like this. n divided by n equals 1. Um, that anything divided by itself equals 1. Um, that's pretty much it for zeros and ones. They're <clears throat> generally pretty easy as long as you remember that anything times 1 equals what you started with and anything times 0 equals 0. And as always, if you have questions, feel free to ask.